Hello again everybody. In the last video I started talking about, you know, classification in here where it was we started actually, you know, our analysis and classification. Now I'm going to continue on uh, classification again, but this time I'm going to show you a very cool trick so you can do all of them together so you don't need to worry about that. One thing I want to show you, this video is not going to be too long because I'm going to finish classification here. Uh, one thing I want to show you is there's something called ROC analysis. If I take this from last uh, video and I do ROC analysis, it's going to be showing you which ones are doing a better job. You know, let's go one by one. And here, all of them are almost doing very good job. And one, one thing I forgot to tell you here last time is here in the test and score, what are these things? Classification accuracy. This is the most important one you're going to look at. So, and up to now, all of them are performing almost the same. So, not that bad. Now, let's just, you know, paint our own data this time and see how, how we can work on that, you know. Uh, why not? It's cool. Paint data. So first I'm going to do one class. Boom. I'm just going to brush class one. I'm going to make it tough, right? And class two inside here. I want to show you how this thing works. Cool. And then here I'm going to do select again. Select columns. You always should do that when you do class fiction. So X, Y class. And you can take this. Let me check. I'm not sure about it, but I'll try. It's the first time it gives it to me. Data sampler, 80% versus 76%, whatever it is, let's keep it like that because it sometimes gives you an optimized way of doing it. Test and score. And remaining as test data, I'm going to connect it to polynomial regression polynomial classification. I'm going to connect it back here and I'm going to connect SVM as my learner here just because SVM is a very strong there you go it's just did it you see SVM classified it to class 1 and class 2 now let's see if I do a linear like for fun because linear is not going to work here it's just going to do a I don't know linear class of linear regression of course, it's not going to work. I'm just kidding. But let's do like a uh, polynomial classification as learner. And here in polynomial, there's two. Okay. One, two. It's still fine. If I do one, it's not fine anymore. Bad. You see? So basically, when you, you know, this future engineering is very important in machine learning. And testing and scoring here, we're going to show you that classification accuracy, not bad, which is 50%, but let's do two, see how dramatically it's going to increase. One, complete accuracy. So you see just increasing the order of your polynomial, it's going to change everything. And if I even test and test data set, it's going to, this is a test and data set. And if I just do test and training data set, it's one there and test and test data set, this one again. Now, let's say you don't want to go through, you want to just test so many, like, you know, uh, classification models, as I said, and choose the one you want. You don't want to go through the hassle here, what I showed you. Let's choose the iris, which is a good data set to do. I'm not going to even rank it. I'm just going to see if columns are fine. Select columns. Yes, the iris class. And I'm going to connect your data to a test and score. Good. I'm going to use just cross validation and see which one works better. So let's go and try a bunch of models. SVM. One. I'm going to try logistic regression. Each one of these actually need a lot. You know, if you want, again, let me know. I can make videos. Nave base. Let's go one by one. I'm going to show you all of them random forest which we're gonna see a very cool example in the future videos and neural networks which everybody talks about i'm gonna do a cross validation right let's do it takes time classification accuracy is you see 90 percent naive base svm and is the higher uh, in neural network and svm are working very well now let's change so in neural network i'm gonna install 
have hidden layers of 200 I'm gonna do 100 I'm gonna do 200 okay it will take time let's see what happens if I do a 200 there you go 996 matching SVM good so this is how you do it you enter you, you put your data set here and you start testing different models I suggest you this is a good way of checking which model will work on your data set and you want to you know experiment and then write it in Python because it's very slow for very you know big data sets orange is not meant to do everything all together here you just need to it's it's for pre-analysis let's say to see what's going on how it's working I hope you enjoyed this video in the next video, I'm going to talk about image analysis. Now, you can just literally take image inside Orange and work with it, and that's going to be awesome, okay? Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me comments, questions I would try to answer. Happy machine learning, as always, and see you in the next video.